Hi guys, and thank you so much for joining. My name is Brandon Ayers from the Cornea Service at Wills Eye Hospital and Ophthalmic Partners of Pennsylvania. And today I wanted to show you one tip or trick using this. What, you can't see it? It's our flexible iris retractor. I wanted to show a quick way to use the flexible iris retractor for something other than small pupils. In this case, we're gonna use the flexible iris retractor to solve issues with that iris lens retropulsion syndrome that we often see with our high myopes or post vitrectomy patients during cataract surgery. Check out this trick. All right, so here the case has already started and I'm moving it in fast forward so you can see that that dilation of the pupil, uh, you can see the deepening of the chamber, the posterior movement of the lens, and that patient is groaning every time that happens in pain. So the trick here to stop this is just to simply place a single flexible iris retractor, and I'm just hooking it under the iris to elevate the iris. And now we'll go back and start surgery again. Now, I haven't changed my fluidics, I haven't changed my technique, I haven't changed anything. And here in fast forward once again, you'll now be able to see that we're not moving in and out of the focal plane, there's no more dilation of the, the iris, and we're not moving that lens posteriorly and the patient is now much more comfortable. So although this case was becoming a bit more complicated and complex because of the iris retropulsion syndrome, just placing the flexible iris hook has made this now a routine case and we can get things done more efficiently in the operating room. So a really cool little trick for using the flexible iris retractor. It is not just for small pupils anymore. Here we're using it for iris retropulsion syndrome. So hooray for the, uh, the flexible iris retractor. Well guys, that's my trick with flexible iris retractors. I hope you found this interesting. Maybe you already knew about this and this is not news. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found something interesting here and you can apply it to your own patients.